Welcome to GCRD Technologies. Performance testing interview questions for beginners. Uh, first one, what is performance testing? Performance testing is a non-functional test type, non-functional software test type that determines how the stability, speed, scalability and responsiveness of an application holds up under a given workload. Next, how to conduct performance testing? See, generally software testing can be done in two ways. One is traditional manual testing. Another is automation testing or automated testing. See, manual testing is impractical to conduct performance testing. If it is functional testing, you can conduct functional testing using manual testing methods or automated testing or hybrid approach. But if it is performance testing, manual testing is impractical. Why? Suppose if you want to apply 5000 concurrent users load, see organizing 5000 computers, 5000 testers and applying the load is impractical. So automation testing is only possible for performance testing. Next third one, what are the uh, major, what are the different types of performance testing? What are the different types of performance testing? Or you can say, what are the subsets of performance testing? See, the major performance test types are, one is load testing. Load testing is to verify that the system or application can handle the expected number of transactions and to verify the system or application behavior under both normal and peak load conditions in terms of number of users. Next, stress testing. Stress testing is to verify the behavior of the system once the load increases more than the system's designed system's design expectations. This testing addresses which components fail first when we stress the system by applying the load beyond the design expectations. Next, one more subset of performance testing or type of performance testing spike testing spike testing is to determine the behavior of the system under sudden increase of load a large number of users on the systems next endurance testing see it is done to make sure the software can handle the expected load over a long period of time next volume testing or you can say data volume testing checks the software can handle and process a large amount of data at once without breaking slowing down or losing any information next scalability testing the object of scalability testing is to determine the software applications effectiveness in scaling up to support an increase in user load. See so once again, types of performance testing or subsets of performance testing are load testing, stress testing, spike testing, endurance testing, data volume testing and scalability testing. Next, what are the common performance problems? See, performance testers will typically run into at least one of these four problems during testing. One is low, uh, long load time, poor, uh, second one, poor response time, next, poor scalability, next, bottlenecking, uh, coding errors or hardware issues. Next question. What are the common performance bottlenecks? Common performance bottlenecks. See, 
some common performance bottlenecks include CPU utilization, memory utilization, network utilization, software limitation, next disk usage, next what are the important performance test tools, see uh, now it is in the market, important performance test tools are Apache J meter, it is open source. Next, micro focus load runner, commercial tool. IBM RPT, rational performance tester. Next, micro focus silk performer, web load, neo load, smart bear, load ninja, etc. Next, what are the important test, uh, performance testing metrics? important performance testing metrics response time requests per second user transactions virtual users per unit unit of time error rate next wait time next average load time next peak response time next concurrent users next throughput next total user sessions next cpi utilization next memory utilization next eighth question in this video what is throughput in performance testing what is throughput throughput is referred to the amount of data transported to the server in response to the client request at a given period of time. It is calculated in terms of requests per second, calls per day, reports per year, hits per second, etc. Performance of application depends on throughput value. Higher the value of throughput, higher the performance of the application. Next. Uh, ninth one, what is performance tuning? There are two types of performance tuning, hardware tuning, software tuning. First hardware tuning, enhancing, adding or uh, supplanting the hardware components of the system under test and changes in the framework level to augment the system's performance is called hardware tuning. Next software tuning. Identifying the software level bottlenecks by profiling the code, database etc. Fine tuning or modifying the software to fix the bottlenecks is called software tuning. Next what are the important protocols? used in performance testing. Web protocols, HTTP, HTTP, hypertext, just a minute, HTTP, hypertext transfer protocol is web protocol. Next, HTTPS, hypertext transfer protocol security, it is also web protocol. Next, SOAP, SOAP, REST, Web Services Protocols, next Database Protocols, JDBC, Java Database Connectivity, ODBC, Open Database Connectivity, next FTP, LDAP, next Message Oriented Middleware, MOM, via JMS, next Mail, SMTP, POP3 and I, IMAP, next native commands or shell scripts, next T, uh, TCP, etc. Next, uh, what is automated correlation? What is automated correlation? Correlation is the process of capturing and storing the dynamic response from the server and passing it on to subsequent requests. Next, 
last one important one he explain the performance test process automated test process manual testing is impractical for performance testing important steps in performance test process are first one identify the test environment identify the hardware software network configurations and tools for conducting performance testing next second one identify performance metrics identify metrics such as response time throughput and constraint and identify what is the success criteria for performance testing next third one plan and design performance tests identify performance test scenarios that take into account user visibility test data and target metrics next fourth one fourth step configure the test environment prepare the elements of the test environment and the instruments needed to monitor resources next fifth step implement your test design record test scripts create and apply multiple users virtual users load next sixth step execute tests run or execute performance tests next sixth one analyze tune and reset retest analyze the test result next then fine tune and test design to see if there is an improvement or decrease in performance see this is about performance interview questions for beginners or fresher thank you.